podcast. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost. And I'm Brianne McLean. And it is St. Patrick's Day. I've got my, my little hat on. Very cute. I've got some earrings too. I don't know if uh, anybody could see them because of the green screen, of course. Yes. So I wanted to sport a little bit of green. No, I love it. And I'm, I'm not in front of it. So it's very cute. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to go through some 906 Weather Watchers pictures. We have this one from Kevin Dunham in Munising. And this is just a really great picture. You can kind of see That's the awesome. snowflakes in the background. And this bird is really hungry. Hungry, I yeah, think. it's in motion. <laughs> wow, I really like that photo. That's it's, awesome. It's a really great photo. Thank yeah. you so much for sending that in. And then I have the photo that I've been sharing all day. This <laughs> yes. was from Sally Tapio Smith in the Keweenaw. Looks like they were celebrating St. Patrick's Day too. Did yes. you celebrate it all? Uh, my boyfriend surprised me with a shamrock shake and we watched Luck of the Irish. Um, <laughs> it was it was great. What about you? Yeah, I did. I haven't really gotten to so far. I uh, tried to. I tried to wear a little bit of green and yes. Oh, yeah, yes, of just course. Feel a little festive. So. Yeah, and we were talking a little bit earlier about Irish heritage. Mm -hmm. So you said you're a lot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm very, very Irish. Right. I'm like 90% Irish. So I just recently found out, and it's uh, it's it's really interesting to find out. I don't know too much about it, and I I want to learn a little bit more. Yeah. But I know that uh, on my mom's side, she kind of traced it all the way back. To like the 12th century or something like that. That's it's cool. Really cool. So yeah, definitely. very very interesting. I'm like six six percent, so I'm a wee bit Irish. Yeah, just, just a wee bit. <laughs> just a wee bit. <laughs> All right. And for your three things to know, we are seeing some breezy conditions out there as well as some snow showers, and we do have uh, some winter weather advisories issued by the National Weather Service for a couple of our counties, but they're going to expire over the next few hours. And you can zoom in. You can see these uh, for the clouds and precipitation over the last few hours. We've been seeing. Some some snow. It's going to start to diminish away from the lake from uh, Lake Superior, however, but still holding on right now uh, in, in these counties in Alger, Northern Schoolcraft, Barriga, Houghton, Ontonagon, and Go Gibbet counties. Uh, you're under a winter weather advisory issued by the National Weather Service. It should expire by uh, 2 a.m., 1 a.m., depending on where you are uh, for your time zones. But this is due to that snow and the very gusty winds that are going to cause a little bit of some problems out there. I was just out there and it's a little bit scary. Uh, to drive right now, so make sure that you are very careful if you do have to go out tonight. And for your future snowfall, you could see a couple more inches tonight, and that could be up to around two inches on, in Ironwood, around one inch in Ontonagon, and even close to two inches in Marquette, and that's on top of what has already fallen throughout the rest of uh, today. And then take a look at our wind gusts. We are seeing some pretty gusty winds still, and that's going to continue into tonight, still seeing over 25 mile an hour wind gusts possible. And then into tomorrow, you can see a little bit of a break before we see some more wind gusts move in on Tuesday and continuing into Wednesday. Taking a look at our extended forecast tonight in the Keweenaw Peninsula. Temperatures drop down to around 20 degrees. Highs for tomorrow warm up into the upper 20s to mid 20s. 34 on Tuesday and then cooling down to 19 on Wednesday and staying below average for the rest of your week in the areas closer to the Michigan Wisconsin border tonight. Temperatures drop down into the teens. Highs for tomorrow warm up to around 30 degrees in this region. 39 on Tuesday before dropping back down to 23 on Wednesday and staying below average after that. Closer to Lake Michigan Michigan tonight. Temperatures drop down into the 20s to around 19 degrees in Powers. Highs for tomorrow. Warm back, back up into the lower 30s. You can warm up to 41 on Tuesday, a little bit above average, before dropping back down to below average temperatures. 24 degrees on Wednesday and staying in the 30s for the rest of your week. And then in those areas in the eastern UP tonight, temperatures will drop down into the 20s. Highs for tomorrow. Warm back up into the upper 20s to around the 30s as well. 37 on Tuesday before dropping back down to 23 and then staying below average for the rest of your week in Alger County tonight. Temperatures drop down into the 20s. Highs for tomorrow warm up to the upper 20s. 36 on Tuesday. Dropping back down to 22 degrees on Wednesday and staying below average for the rest of your week. In Marquette County tonight, temperatures away from the lake shores drop down to the upper teens. Highs for tomorrow around 30 degrees. 36 on Tuesday. Cooling down to 18 on Wednesday. Much cooler. Staying below average for the rest of your week in the upper terrain areas tonight of Marquette County. Temperatures drop down into the teens. Highs for tomorrow back into the 20s. 34 on Tuesday. Cooling down to 16 on Wednesday. Staying in the 20s for the rest of your week and then closer to the lakeshore tonight in Marquette County. Temperatures drop down to around 20 degrees. Highs for tomorrow warm back up into the upper 20s. 35 on Tuesday. Breezy and cold on Wednesday with 18 as your high. Then staying in the 20s for the rest of your week.